Welcome back to our show. Hola y aloha, everyone, and feliz año nuevo. <laughs> feliz año nuevo. Happy New Year. <laughs> I'm your um, host, Barbara DeLuca, president and co-founder of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. And I am Marisol Ruiz. I am the vice president and co-founder of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce here in Hawaii. So we had a, a great year. We're going to recap 2023 and talk about our initiatives for 2024. We just had a productive meeting in December to talk about what we're going to you know, have in store for you for 2024. So we're so excited. Um, and we want to start off with uh, some of our progress that we made last year. It was a, it was a great, exciting year, right, Marisol? Oh, yeah. Exciting is a, an understatement. There was a lot of work, but mm -hmm. this is what we love. We're trying to bring our Latino community together. So, um, you know, it was rough, but uh, we're going to keep on going and it's only getting better. So I'm really excited for this recap and just to highlight what we've been doing this last year and what we're going to do moving forward. Right. So in yeah. 2022, we had our meeting in January and we decided, okay, in 2023, we would love a podcast and we even had a name for it and it was yeah. Hola y Aloha. And here it is. It came to fruition. We reached out to Think Tech Hawaii. Thank you, Think Tech, for giving us this platform. And we're going to start off with some of our shows. So if you go to our website, um, we're looking at our one of our shows that we had with Tito Puente Jr. He was here for Hispanic Heritage Month in October. That was a great discussion, right? Oh, my God. He's so dynamic. Like, 30 minutes wasn't enough. I, I want to just sit there and find out everything about his life and his passion and it, it was really exciting. And he didn't even, when he performed at um, the festival, he was even more dynamic, which was wonderful. So it was an honor to, to share space with him. Oh, he was so personable too. He, he recognized each one of us from our, our talk show. So as soon as he saw us, everybody was like trying to get a picture with him. But he's like, come on, Marisol, come on, Barbara, let's get a picture. Yeah, so, do you remember that? I know, I was like, ooh. Know, right? <laughs> We yeah. were like groupies waiting and he just called <laughs> us out. It was awesome. Yeah, it was really yeah. good. <laughs> it was great, especially since I just got back from Florida. The conversation flowed. I was able to talk to him about Miami and our, our visit there. And unfortunately, he wasn't there for this event that I was at. He was in uh, Puerto Rico. And um, let's look down. Let's scroll down to some of our other guests. I, I see Mercado de la Raza. That was great. We oh, that's that. awesome. They Right. And they actually also, yeah, they're wonderful. And um, they, we talked a little bit about what they do in the community because they're really, you know, community centric and really try and bring uh, people together and, and businesses actually really trying to expand and grow. And so they do a lot of charity work as well, but um, they were, uh, we'll talk about this event, um, but they were panelists at uh, one of our largest events we've had in 2023. So we'll get into that, but they were wonderful to, uh, to share space with as well. Yes, Alex um, Viorino and Megan Chun. Shout out. Wow. <laughs> their their um, store, it's the only Latino grocery store on the island, in case you didn't know. They're located on Baratania, right across the street from Safeway. And they're, they're, they carry all Latino products. Um, and, if, and if they don't carry it, just let them know. And they'll, you know, they'll, I'm sure they'll do their best to get it in there. And, you know, one thing that I've heard from people too, it's not just like when people think like Hispanic or Latino, most of them will think like, Mexican, right, or kind of Central exactly. American. They have, you know, products from Argentina, Brazil, um, other islands. So they, Peru. yeah, yeah. <laughs> they're really, really are, are diverse. So it's a, it's a great, it's definitely a vibe in there. And while you're in there, you're probably going to find out one of their pop ups. You'll get introduced to another uh, locally owned business that they're supporting there, right, in their, mm -hmm. in their uh, Merchante uh, initiative there. Exactly. They're Merchante Latino. They have that on Saturdays and they, they bring in local vendors and some of them are members of our chamber and yeah. growing as well. So we like what they're doing in the community. Um, just like Rip Fitness, uh, I'm looking at our other video here. They, um, Marisol, why don't you talk to us about Rip Fitness? Because you were at one of their masterminds recently. Oh, man, Rip Fitness, that's a whole nother vibe too. <laughs> it's so <laughs> wonderful. If you want to work out and Salsa and bachata, you know, in between sets, like that's the place to do it. And it's safe. And everyone is so wonderful and welcoming. And, you know, same, same idea that we all have is just uplift and inspire one another, support one another. There's enough room for everybody. So um, always fun to go in there. And then aside from just really owning their gym, uh, they do sip and shops. So 
again, supporting one another in our businesses. So they'll bring out um, vendors. Um, what, the one we went to last time, how many were there? I mean, at least 12, right? right? Vendors that they had out there. And you go out there and everyone's, you know, listening to music. You can lift weights if you want <laughs> and support these other, other, other businesses. And then you remember how we started, right? Like it was just a kind of a, a, a passion project where he would get, you know, him and, and friends and they'd go out and work out on Saturdays at the park like mm -hmm. just to get people together. And they're actually doing that. If I'm not mistaken, I want to say, let me look at the date. I want to say it's January 13th. They're oh. kind of going back again to remember uh, that Saturday event that we had gone to. Um, it's, they're going to do it again. Um, again, going back to kind of their, their, their initial roots, right. And how they started and, and getting the community involved um, again. But they recently, I went to a mastermind, uh, again, not just a gym. Um, their idea is to really, you know, uplift people. It was wonderful. I was there uh, for a few hours at this um, mastermind, and it was just members of the community and talking about, you know, 2023 goals, finances, um, you know, what are we projecting, talking about even um, faith and you know different aspects of how can we grow and be better um as as individuals you know in our own homes and in our communities in our places of work our places of worship um we talked about mental health i mean it was it was wonderful and this is something that they're planning on on doing um later in the year as well to kind of uh hold people accountable you know cuz we get excited right we'll do something but it's like how do you maintain and continue to support. So um, they're not just a gym. I mean, it's pretty awesome. So that was my experience uh, just um, a few weeks ago. And they even have merch. They sell their own merchandise. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's great. And they participate in all the, I mean, I go in there and it's amazing to see these transformations. Like, you think it can't really happen until you like see it. You'll see somebody and then how dedicated they are when they're training them to do these um uh, uh, competitions you know oh, it's it's a thing and you know what when they go out to these these uh competitions because it's such they a roll deep. <laughs> they rolled so deep yeah. <laughs> and it's such a community like they're doing dancing and you know cha 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 and so they really bring that latin flavor and that family uh culture to to competitions which there's no other group uh like that so it's pretty awesome that uh you know they're part of the chamber and they're here to support us and again they were they also were you know active participants in our latino business expo which we'll talk about um so it was great to, to okay. support another it, yes they were and um they're located in waipahu in case you haven't been to the gym so yeah. look them up rip fitness spell with a one r1p fitness yeah. right oh yeah, that's and true. I still would love to post this video on there, but one of our last guests that joined us in, in November was Ana Valdez, and she's the president oh. and CEO of Latino Business Collaborative. So um, they've been doing this report for the last seven years, and it's basically on the Latino GDP and what would contribute to the economy and how we affect the, the, the voting bloc, real estate, um, entertainment, just all, all different facets, every industry. It's so interesting, this conversation that I have with her. So I'm going to um, post that on our website to share. And I'm, I'm just, you know, so happy that she took time to join us. She was in New York at the time. Right. And this is, this is a, a guess that we should probably bring back on again, because everything is data, right? I mean, and if there's data there to be had, and it, it, we can talk all we want about, you know, how we're growing and who we are, you know, whether it be in Hawaii or nationwide, but the numbers speak for themselves, right? And so we can back up our passions and what we're seeing and trends with the data. So I think we need to bring her back. What do you think? Um, yes, definitely. Especially <laughs> as we, you know, make those relationships and connections with corporate members and, you know, the data is very important and, and how we do contribute 3.2 trillion to the, the GDP and all of those great numbers. And how right. you know we're we're one in five um, Americans is Latino, and how we're you know the youngest uh, Amer Americans you know about twenty years and younger is is our average age. Wow. So we have lots of opportunity and in, in years to grow you know continue to grow the economy and buy homes and graduate at higher levels and get those CEO positions. So 
It, it was a great conversation. Yes, we definitely have to bring her back. Good. 2024. 2024. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, oh, Marisol, do you want to talk about our Latino Business Expo since that's next on our uh, website here? And, you know, it, it was well, great. Yeah, it was, you know, this was our first uh, Latino Business uh, Expo since we are a business chamber, right? Um, but that being said, we're also, you know, extremely fun and passionate and, you know, we love the dance and the food. So we were thinking of how can we incorporate, how can we support our Latino owned businesses, um, keep it still professional, right? Support one another and still, you know, have fun and really let who we are as a people shine. So we've been talking about this uh, Latino Business Expo. Our vision is much larger, but hey, this was the first time, right? But oh. it was incredibly successful. Um, we had, how many vendors did we have? We had 35 uh, vendors and not all of them sold food. I would say half of them, 15 or to 18 were mm -hmm. vendors. I'm talking Puerto Rican, Venezuelan, Peruvian, Mexican, all different Brazilian, types. Yeah, Brazilian, yeah, Cuban. Cuban. Yeah. And then the the other half were business owners like myself and and Marisol. We had a booth there as well for real estate and and lending. And right, right. You know. <laughs> That's right. Um, I'm a mortgage broker. Uh, I'm here. a real estate broker. <laughs> yeah. So we were out there promoting our business along with Rip Fitness and Mercado de la Raza. Oh, and we also had a great um, conversation on stage. Uh, and um, you want to talk about that? Who was our guest on there? The four different Latino business owners in our community. Yeah, we had El Mercado de la Raza. We had uh, Rip Fitness. Um, we also had um, uh, H&L to LAX, the barbershop, right? And then we had um, um, the one and only. Uh, Chero, the yeah. one and only. <laughs> Hector Garcia Gomez from El Ranchero. So. Yeah, he's fantastic. Um, yeah, and, and again, because we are a business chamber, right? Like, yes, are we going to have fun in the fiestas and the food? Yes, we're going to do all of those things. But we, at the end of the day, we are entrepreneurs. We hustle. We want to start businesses, whether it's a side business, a real business, a corporation, or some of us, you know, maybe don't work for ourselves, and but we hold, you know, positions in other companies. The goal is to promote one another. So it was really awesome to have a panelist because people have ideas. They're like, I want to start my business, but they might be afraid or they don't know how, or they might not even know somebody in their own sphere that has actually done it. So we really provided that platform for people to talk about their experience because each experience is unique. Um, so I thought it was exciting. I mean, that thing could have gone for hours. So uh, we, you know, tried to keep it kind of concise and, you know, it was hard to also choose who we wanted as panelists, right? Because everyone has a story and I want to hear everyone's story. So um, maybe that's something that we can work on for 2024 as well Is how can we, and we do that when we do our, our, our talk shows, right? We highlight um, our uh, Latino owned businesses and how they got there. Where did the idea come from? So it was really fun uh, to do that. Um, but it was our first time, right? And um, it was, it was how many? 1,200, over 1,200. And yeah. it was at Aloha Tower Marketplace. So it was a beautiful venue by the water. And we had a VIP networking event. Mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. So that was sponsored by Terramana Tequila. And uh, we sold tickets for that event. And the money went to our fundraiser, which we can talk about next. Um, and at the event, at the, at the, sorry, at the VIP networking um, event, we, we were able to network with some of the business owners and, and the money went to a good cause and it was sponsored by Terramana. So you can't go wrong. <laughs> um, and we also had a low riders, Duke's oh, car yeah. was there. That was fun. We, we represented all facets of our, uh, our culture. Oh yeah. Also the ballet folklorico. We can't, we yes. can't get those amazing young Beautiful. people. Yes, and we're going to invite them back out. I had lunch with um, one other girl. She was here um, during the holidays to visit family. Yeah, no, they were wonderful. It's too bad we don't have yet, maybe, right? That's something that maybe in the future will, you know, as the Latino community grows, right? Um, we don't, we have to kind of bring people in from from the mainland, you know? Right. But I mean, they're they're wonderful. It was a, it was a beautiful sight, actually. Latina was there. Um, they they had a booth and and the actually the competition is coming up in January. 
um, I have to, we'll post details. Maybe we'll bring um, them on to talk or, you know, we'll figure that out. <laughs> Wait, which competition? Um, the Miss Latina pageant is coming Ooh. up in January. So we've got to call Nancy Ortiz. She's the organizer and um, see if we can have the girls talk about their platforms or, you know, yeah, we can at least talk about the Miss Latina pageant. It's a great, great way to um, bring the, the girls in and get them involved. And not only that, this year, one of our initiatives is to start a young people network. Yes. So, um, that's going to be spearheaded by one of our members who um, actually, she was the was asking the questions on the panel as the discussion. So she was a moderator. That's the word I'm thinking of, the moderator. Maria, moderator. Yeah, Maria Arieta. So we'll have more news to share as that grows and develops. Her um, and Rolando Santiago, they're going to had that so Marisol and I are going to meet with them this month and, and talk about how we're going to grow our young people network so that that's how we're going to continue to grow the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce that's right I mean uh, there's so many I mean and as we're growing right we're learning there's growing pains with everything but I mean wouldn't you say Barbara the response that we're getting I mean even just the Latino Business Expo this was our first time. We really didn't know how successful it would be. We know in our minds, right, what we thought. Um, I think it went better than we planned. And I mean, we had people that wanted to participate. Do you remember they were coming after the event? Like, who can we talk to? We want to participate. What can we do for next yeah. year? And we're like, we had to, you know, we it was limited. So we didn't even think that the support would be that as much as it was. And we couldn't, we couldn't you know, satisfy everyone, so to speak. So think about how big 2024 is going to be for everybody. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. And we might need, need a bigger venue. Let's, let's see what happens. Huh? All of the food vendors sold out. So that was a good, you know, uh, indicator. <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it was great. So uh, yeah, we're looking forward to, to 2024. And so, and anybody that wants to, you know, join the chamber, it's for Latinos and those who love us who have, you know, who are good in certain areas, maybe, you know, fundraising or marketing, or they just want to be a part of something, you know, you're more than welcome to come and join and be a part of our committees. Right. Thank you. You're, you're absolutely right. Everybody's welcome. Latinos and those who love us. <laughs> um, come out to some of our networking events. So we're, we're going over last year, but what we did last year, we're going to continue to implement this year. So our signature events, such as the Latino Business Expo, and we have another great event that we're planning at the end of the year for Dia de los Muertos. So that one's going to be our, our um, gala fundraiser. Uh, so we'll have more information to share with you guys as the year progresses. We're, we got to start working on that early. Um, and mm -hmm. some of the networking events are on our signature events page on our website. So if you just want to go check it out. Yep, there you go. Um, we had we had a great turnout. Every other month we would have a, a breakfast networking. It was called... Um, Buenos Dias, Breakfast Networking, and we had six of them. So they were every other month at El, El Ranchero and Capole. And um, we talked about, let's see, what, what do we have here? Um, Rick Iniguez was going over some financial things and um, AI, how to build a website. If you scroll on there, we had we had a great time. <laughs> and, yeah. Yeah. I'm um, looking, I'm like, we, we've missed a couple on our website, but that's okay. I mean, yeah, we just, we did a lot this year, actually, uh, last year. We're in 2024 yep. already. You would think at eight in the morning, eight thirty in the morning, we, we, you know, it's one of those things. We're like, well, let's see what happens. So it was out in Couple A, and it's mm -hmm. kind of hard to say who's going to come out that far. But we had about thirty-five to forty people at each of our breakfast meetings. Mm -hmm. This year, mm -hmm. what we want to do is um, continue to have them, but you know, plan them at different locations closer to town, and and see if we can, um, you know, capture some of, of the attendees that might have missed our breakfast networking just because of the location but that was it that's definitely a great location we want to get right. in there and if you go all the way to the bottom we kicked off our year um the last two years with beads for leads business networking and this is at the boiling crab in kakaako it's also latino owned and for those who love us anybody everybody's welcome so this is our first um signature event that we want to um well, that we're going to be planning for february it's on fat tuesday and you bring your beads and get some leads and it's always a great night. <laughs> right? like, this will be our third year. So that's exciting. Um, and I did say that we were going to talk about the, the Maui fundraiser. So if you go to our homepage, um, we were honored to be able to, you know, the fact that we're a 501c3, we were able to raise $5,000 for our um, 
Latino business owners in Maui, and we awarded three recipients. Um, so we'll, we'll be, uh, you know, sending that information out in our newsletter. We have a, a, a newsletter that we send out, I would say, every other week. It's also called Ola y Aloha. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But we're able to share updates on on our breakfast networking events and you know signature events. Right. Yeah. The the newsletter is great because it does it it recaps and then it highlights uh, events that are that mm-hmm. are coming up for sure. And then you know who else we we missed on one of our networking events when we were at Lokahi Brewing Company, right? That's right. But yeah, that was an awesome event. That was. Uh, yeah. He's over there on. Um... King Street, I believe, right? Lokahi is a, mm-hmm. a brewery yes. and serves good food, has a food truck. So we should do plan one there again. Well, we actually did talk about it. So <laughs> that would be a, a nighttime one. <laughs> yeah, no, that one's yeah, great. That right? So maybe in, if not a Buenos Dias breakfast, so, you know, Buenas tardes. You yeah, know? <laughs> you That's our version of Kauhana. Buenas right? Tardes. Yeah. Um, and then 2023 was this year we're going to implement you know joining our chamber because we have we do have a lot of value to offer and last year we we were able to grow um you know let's let's go to the first page if we scroll down um i can name a few and marisol can name a few but we have barrio cafe it's um dash of saston alejandro's what what else do we have here i gotta put my glasses on <laughs> la salsa. Oh, no. yeah Awesome. Uh, straight out of hat. <laughs> Raiz tortillas, coquitos, the seafood cartel, taqueria, ranchero, the boiling crab. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. So those are some of our restaurant vendors. And if you scroll up, Marisol, want, you want to read off some of our business members. <laughs> Let me see. Hold on. I'm trying to. I know. To... It goes by fast. I'll start with yes. Katina Designs. There we go. Graphic Designs. Where are we? Sorry. My... Okay, Mighty Sparrow Coaching, the Latino Healing Institute, mm-hmm. World Class Notaries, uh, another notary, um, HNLAX, the Barbershop, uh, Arietta, Soldier to Soldier, Rip Fitness, Arthur Murray, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Analytics, uh, Via Business Consultants, <laughs> M&M Consultants, <laughs> uh, Insurance Advisors, and we even have a cell phone company here, <laughs> Personalized yeah. White Tours. Oh, wow. Yeah, so... Um, and, and we need to update the website since our Latino business expo, we did have, um, a lot of, uh, you know, quite a few more people that joined us and companies and, and that's just people that own businesses. Um, spot on joined us, you know, they're, they right. do uh, eat for restaurants. So that's exciting. Just collaborating with, uh, some of our, um, corporate members. But like I said, you don't have to own a company like Marisol said, it, it, it's also for individuals that, that just want to network. And, and might work for another company. We all work somewhere, right? <laughs> well, yeah. And I think a lot of the feedback that we get to, yeah. It, and, I, and I'm glad that you reiterated that again is you don't have to own a business. But at the end of the day, I think people are looking for a space or somewhere to connect with others. Or, you know, we get calls, right? Like, oh, do you, um, do you know an immigration lawyer? Yes, we do, actually. You know, or do you have a an accountant or a tax preparer that speaks Spanish. Yes, we do. Right. So it's like they might not own a business, but they're looking for certain resources and we're here to provide resources, you know, a hub for everybody to to tap into when when something is needed. But you do not have to own a business. Correct. And one of the things that we are working on for this year, like, you know, we did discuss where we can improve and that's our website. So we do want to create a directory so we can connect with each other on the website. Um, right. That- Something that's been requested and, and definitely necessary. So, and Barbara, do we have planned um uh like a members meeting to get everyone together? And uh is that something that we're looking at for next quarter, maybe? What are you thinking? Oh, definitely, yeah. That's something that we discussed. So um if you the best um, way to stay connected with us is to um sign up, go to our website and sign up for the <laughs> newsletter because we send that out every um other week. Um just discussing any upcoming events like our members meeting. So right. Something we are working on. And you'll be probably getting a personal phone call from one of us, someone on our board saying, Hey, make sure you come to our meeting uh, when we have that. So look out for the newsletter. And, uh, and yes, nice yes. we do have people that do want to, um, you know, volunteer for our membership committee committee. So some of our new members are volunteering for the membership committee. Right. 
one of them is her name's Chris Calderon, and she owns a um, a security franchise. So oh, that's she, awesome. Signal Security, I believe. Don't quote me. Let me look it up. I'm sorry, Chris, but I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> She's great. I went to lunch with her too. She lives in Milani, so we were able to meet up. So yeah, if you if you're interested in helping out or volunteering, please connect connect with us. Our contact information is on our website. Um. Sorry, I was trying to read the chat, but I don't have my glasses. <laughs> oh, okay. let me see. All right. Do we have oh, a two with a two minute countdown? All right. <laughs> <laughs> We're just ignoring the countdown. <laughs> countdown. Happy New Year. Woo! I, I hope you guys all had a happy new year. Um, I know, I know we did, and we we're blessed to live here in, in the beautiful islands of Hawaii and and just growing the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and and partnering with Mari Soul and you know, we talked about this um, Hispanic Chamber of Commerce and growing it and, and founding it back in 2019. And here we are, 2024, Marisol. So I know. A- is that crazy? Aww. Aww. <laughs> Look, yeah. I feel like blood, sweat, and tears, but here we are. <laughs> I'm like recharged again. It just takes a, a little conversation. Then it's like, okay, why are we doing this again? It's it's wonderful. There's so much potential. And we'll be reaching out to to. Uh, a lot more of our corporate uh, uh, members of the community, right, for for support because we have a lot to do and a lot to say and uh, pretty exciting. But we we do need some support. So if anybody's interested in in participating and put in some some work, we're here. Yes. We'll take you with open arms. I remember, Latinos and those who love us. But That's thank right. you for joining us, you guys, and we look forward to another year of um, think tech support and and thank you for giving us this platform and joining us on hola y aloha and like i said this is barbara deluca your host signing off with marisol ruiz our vice president and co-founder thank you for joining us and happy new year thank you happy new year feliz año nuevo we'll see you soon